I'm Meredith Book, and welcome to the first ever episode of Cooking by the Book. Each episode, we will have a well-known guest who will share a dish that is important to them. This first episode, we have former Ohio State punter and kicker Tim Williams. Tim was a four-year starter from 1990 to 1993. At the time of his OSU career, he had made more field goals than any other OSU kicker. He has since been selected to be on the Buckeye football all-century team. So, welcome Tim Williams. Thank you for being the first ever guest on Cooking by the Book. So, tell us, what have you been doing since your career at Ohio State? You know, Meredith, since my playing days uh, ended in 1993, I've actually trained over 1,700 uh, high school kickers and punters and younger guys and uh, sent over uh, 1,100 of those kids off to play college football. Who have you trained that our viewers would know? Well, if you're a Buckeye fan, you would all know Mike Nugent. Mike Nugent and I met uh, when he was in the seventh grade. He went on to be a uh, Lou Groza Award winner, a national champion at The Ohio State University. Other guys like Jake Rogers, the all-time leading scorer at the University of Cincinnati, keeping it in Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, Art Carmody, who was a Lou Groza Award winner from the University of Louisville, Kevin Lavelle from UC, Jad Dean from Clemson. I've got a lot of guys out there. So as you know, this is a cooking show, and I ask each guest to bring a dish that's important to them. So what are we going to make today? So let me ask you, have you ever had homemade biscuits and chocolate syrup? No. So when I was younger and we would go outside play in the snow, we would always come into homemade biscuits and chocolate syrup. And this chocolate syrup is something that my mom's mom had made for them when they were kids. And it's a heck of a treat and uh, it's not low in fat, uh, <laughs> by the way, but it's something that, you know, that, that I've remembered my entire life and now my kids enjoy it as well. First thing we're gonna do is make the biscuits. You can use any type of biscuits for this recipe. We used buttermilk biscuits out of the package and here I am just adding in some butter and some milk and Tim is stirring it for us. After we mixed up our batter, we put flour on our surface so that we can roll out the dough. So who did you play with in your career? So I had uh, some people that are pretty well known. Kirk Herbstreet was my holder, uh, for example. Eddie George uh, was a Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, Eddie was uh, of a running back when I played. Joey Galloway, who you can see on ESPN now, college game day. Mm -hmm. I heard that football players have superstitions. So in particular, did kickers have any? You know, a lot of them do. I don't necessarily uh, consider myself superstitious. I was, I was always big on doing the same thing every time, mm -hmm. but only for the sake of being consistent. Does that make sense? Yeah. Was Kind of going on superstitions, was there like a traditional meal you would have before or after a game, or you or the entire team? So if you're a former Ohio State football player, you very well remember the Friday night dinners at the Ohio State golf course. That consisted of a filet, uh, you always had spaghetti there for your carbohydrates, mm -hmm. uh, but you had a filet, you had green beans, uh, and it was always very good, but the thing that everybody remembered was the pecan rolls that you would get for dessert. Pecan rolls? What are those like? Pecan rolls were big cinnamon rolls with pecans on top of them. Phenomenal. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. They were very, very good. And any former Ohio State football player that you have on this show, you'll have to ask them about the pecan rolls after dinner at the Ohio State Golf Course. Now that the dough is flat, we are ready to cut out our shapes. Okay, we need to get the pan. These things are ready to be cut. And what do you have here, so, Meredith? I thought to get in the Halloween spirit, we would use pumpkins and ghosts. I like it. Is there any memory in particular tied to this meal? You know what? It's not one specific. It's the fact that it was every time. It mm. was every time we would go outside. Uh, and come back in, we would have, and sometimes just on a, you know, on a Saturday or a Sunday morning, we would wake up, and, and as I got older, I actually started making the biscuits myself, and uh, so it's just more of a tradition, I yeah. guess, than anything else. So what is your favorite memory at OSU? I think probably, it's, it's hard when you, when you started for four years to have one specific memory. 
that sticks out. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I would probably have to say my very first game against Texas Tech was pretty memorable in the fact that, you know, my dad was right there. Uh, my mom also. Uh, and, and to have them with me for every game, all four years, was pretty special. They did not miss one game mm. in four years of playing, home or away, wow. or bowl games. So that made uh, my experience very, very special. Do you have a least favorite memory? Probably a least favorite memory would be from 1992 when we played Illinois and I missed a 44-yard field goal that would have won it. Uh, but I knew that that wasn't the only reason we lost. You know, as a yeah. team, you win as a team, you lose as a team. Yes. In 1993, the next year, uh, we traveled to Illinois. And in that game, I was able to hit a 39-yard field goal at the end of the game that sealed the game on Grab the Ghost. So that was like a redemption kick for me. So we're going to put these in okay. to bake, right? Yes. And then we're going to start on the syrup. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. Well, this is your mom's recipe, am I correct? So walk us through how to make this. Okay, actually, it's not my mom's, it's my grandma's. So uh, basically what we have is we have a cup of sugar that we're going to pour into a pan. And then we have a half a cup of cocoa, which are both of these here. Okay. And we're going to whisk these together real good before we add the milk. After mixing, turn your stove to medium-low heat and add two tablespoons of butter, half a cup of milk, and a little bit of vanilla. I notice whenever there's about to be an important kick in a game that the other team will call a timeout to ice out the kicker. Mm -hmm. So how did that affect you? You know, that happened to me more uh, before halftime. I had a lot of kicks, a lot of opportunities for field goals right before the end of the half. Mm -hmm. uh, I had several timeouts called on me. I never missed one of those. Uh, it, it, it all depends upon the individual. If you're prepared and you go through the same mental and visual routine, mm -hmm. you should be fine. But if you allow it to get in the back of your head, I'm sure it would affect you. Oh, that the sauce is ready. I okay. have a special treat for us. Oh, okay. While we were waiting for the biscuits to bake, I taught Tim a TikTok dance, and he taught me how to position my foot on a football. You can watch those on TikTok. After we came in, I pulled the biscuits out of the oven. Here's the final product. Well, thank you for giving me that brief little kicking session. Well, I tell you what, hopefully you got more out of that than I did with the dance lesson <laughs> because uh, as you can tell, I'm, I've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Let's take a bite. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. A little messy. A little bit. Well, I did a little bit of research before and I saw that your dad was your best friend. So, I think you should have changed it to your mom after trying this. Well, they both have their strengths, and this is <laughs> definitely one of mom's, that's for sure. Well, thank you for opening my eyes to this wonderful treat. Well, thank you, Meredith, for allowing me to be your first guest on your new show. It truly was an honor. Oh my gosh, of course. I was so excited to have you on. Well, that closes the book on this episode. See you next time.